Okay, let's open. And now in our model three, we will have a new folder, saturation pressure. Okay, here, if you want to perform pseudo equilibrium saturation calculation using liquid phase fugacity and beta factor, you need to provide in this table. Okay, the measurements, which means you prefer to run regression. Okay, but let's say we don't know that here. We don't know that in, in this time being. So we will not do regression. We will start very basic. So we will just calculate instead of matching or instead of regression. Okay, so now for saturation pressure, the temperature 280 and the saturation pressure estimate, let's say it's 1000. And the calculation option, it is bubble point or upper dew point. Okay, because we are handling condensate, so it is dew point instead of bubble point. Okay, so I've provided the wind prop with temperature and also the saturation pressure estimate. Later on, the CMG will run the calculation and give us the result. Okay, so far so good. And another calculation that I want to perform is to perform two-phase flash. Two-phase means two phases. It is liquid and gas. The first phase is gas. The second phase is the liquid, okay? Or in this case, the condensate. Okay, for two phase, you will find another or you will get a new folder. And you can input the comments if you want. Now the pressure data. The pressure data, the pressure that will be used as reference is standard condition, which is 14.7 PSIA or atmospheric, atmospheric pressure. The pressure, the condition that will be used for two-phase flash. And then if you want to generate the range of pressures, we can use pressure step here. Let's say zero and number of pressure steps one. And then for the temperature, 60, standard condition, right? Or stock tank condition. And the rest, we can follow the default condition. And then let's say I want to generate the phase envelope. We can do that also in calculation. By the way, this one, the yellow buttons or yellow features here are actually the same with what we get in characterization. You can see plus fraction splitting, component lumping. You can find also here, like this one component lumping, this one plus fraction splitting. Here, you can find them in characterization and calculation, you can find them here also. For example, if you want to create two-phase envelope, in calculation, we can find in two-phase envelope here. But in this bar, you can find here, two-phase flash, asphalt in, multiple contacts, compositional, this one, two-phase envelope. Select, okay, we get a new folder and then envelope type XY phase envelope. Okay, we will start basic, simple, XY phase envelope. Y axis will show the pressure, whereas the X axis will show the temperature. We can use default numbers. It will be used as a range in which the envelope will be generated, okay? And then for example, 
starting temperature, I want to start from minus 80 because I'm also interested in what happened in minus degrees, okay, minus 80, for example. And the rest, I will follow the default, including this construction controls, fit, a values, and others. We can use, we can follow the default. And also, I want to perform another two-phase flash operation. Okay, here I want to have ranges of pressure starting from 200 degrees or 200, 250 PSIA with step of 250 PSI and the number of steps, for example, 25. So it will be 250, 500, 750, 1000, and so on and so forth. And the temperature, at reservoir temperature, which is 280 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, and the rest are as per default. Okay, and then experimental, if you want to perform regression or matching, you can input your measurements here. Also for the K values, plot control, which plots you want to generate. Let's say I want to generate phase volume fraction, compressibility factor, K values, and viscosity. But basically, we can generate all of these plots. Okay. At this point, we can save this exercise. Okay. You can open the file and save as. All right. We will select save as. For example, this one, I want to call this one gas condensate. Okay, I will save it at my desktop. Click save. Okay, so far so good. 